And we'll have all the details on those pet adoptions on our website, foxnebraska.com. Of course, you can check out the Kearney Area Facebook page for their animal shelter. And we'll be right back after the break with sports. Actually, I am being told that we have some breaking news. We are receiving unconfirmed reports of random acts of bizarre behavior and mass confusion from all over the city. Details are scarce at this time. There's been no official statement from Kearney Police Department as to exactly what's happening. We will continue to bring you the latest in these special reports right here on KFXL Fox Nebraska. Well, as we broke in with earlier, there have been widespread reports of confusion and erratic behavior as well as rabid like symptoms being reported all over the city. Now, whatever's happening does not appear to be a local phenomenon. We have other reports similarly coming from Colorado. We still have no specific answer as to what is happening. Reports are ranging from a germ or virus with mind altering effects causing extreme aggression and mass hysteria. Interstate 80 and Highway 30 are jammed with people trying to get out of town. The Kearney Police Department is strongly advising people to stay in their homes, lock their doors until police force can contain this situation. We will continue to bring interruptions throughout the night. Keep it tuned right here to KFXL Fox Nebraska. The situation has really gotten out of hand tonight. As you can see, we are on our emergency power system. There is widespread panic all over the city. Most communities are without cell service, internet, and water. The CDC just released a statement moments ago stating that they had concluded a water sample test in the Platte River. The recent Colorado flooding has caused sewage to flood into the water system. The CDC reports they have confirmed the presence of an unknown viral infection in the water supply, causing significant mind-altering symptoms of which include high fever, sweating, nausea, extreme aggression, and mass hysteria. For those people who are unable to get to their own homes, we are providing a list of rescue stations on the screen below us. And Emily actually has a map of where these locations are And Emily. That's right, Andrea. The Kearney Police Department is now urging citizens to get to the closest rescue station near you. The National Guard has been mobilized and mass hysteria is so widespread that it's impossible for rescuers to service and respond to every situation. Uh, we can see the zombie outbreak across the area. Kearney is the area of the main concern. We have some of these uh, rescue stations highlighted right here on a map for you. and. We've been hearing reports that people have been left to defend themselves and have taken the law into their own hands. So if you're watching this broadcast, please get to the nearest rescue station immediately. <laughs> the zombie in the brain with a sharp object is an effective weapon against them. So ladies, get your heels ready. We'll be back with more information on the zombie outbreak. from several states across the country. Do not provoke a zombie. Doing so will result in an attack. Move to an interior room that is blocked by several doors and walls. Stay calm as authorities have been dispatched to deal with these creatures. If you have a firearm, get it now. Most importantly, bring food, water, and a battery-powered radio. Symptoms of this virus include initial nausea and vomiting, blurred vision, loss of muscle control, and unconsciousness. Once again, stay calm as authorities have been dispatched to deal with these creatures. The Centers for Disease Control have confirmed that people are turning into zombies. Any corpse with its brain still intact will still function. The zombie body must be deactivated, and officials say the only way to deactivate is the removal of the zombie head. However, they are not recommending civilians try this on their own. Make sure to get to a secure area and stay away from anyone who could have had the contact. 